I'm from an organization called Climate Kick. Um, I'm going to talk about three things uh, this morning. Um, a short overview of what we're doing as, as Climate Kick, um, some of the work we're doing with cities, um, and then some thoughts towards the end around the what I would call the sort of smart city challenge, specifically around the area we're working in, which is the, the climate challenge, but also maybe a bit broader than that as well. So very quickly, just um, Climate Kick. Um, we are um, one of the first knowledge and innovation communities which the EU has set up. Uh, we've been running for about five years. We're a, we're a not-for-profit company. Um, as the title suggests, we're working specifically on addressing that challenge around climate change. It's one of the biggest challenges we face as society. Um, our mission is very much around innovation, so developing new innovative approaches which address the challenges of climate change. Um, we're quite a long-term initiative uh, at an European level um, where we're going to have a perspective of around 10, 15 years of activity, so very different to your usual sort of short-term European project. Um, and we get significant funding from the, the EU as well as a number of our partner organisations. Um, just to explain um, some of our sort of partner network, as you can see, one of, one of the missions we have is really to bring together some of the leading universities in Europe, some of the large companies in Europe, um, city authorities. So really trying to develop new models around um, innovative action and change in Europe. Um, so you can see from that graph the, um, the number of the, the partners we've got within our network. So we're very much you know, European focused, the mission is innovation, and bringing together different actors which traditionally haven't worked that well together to, 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 to work on solutions to climate change. And just to emphasize, we are sort of European in reach, um, and we've got offices in 12 to 13 countries across Europe, uh, including London, where our headquarters is. Just um, some of the work we're doing with cities. So uh, cities is one of the main strands of activity we're working on. We call it urban transitions. Uh, which is very much how do we get from uh, the current unsustainable urban systems we have around energy, waste, water, um, uh, mobility, uh, the built environment, um, lots of which, particularly around energy, waste and water, are centralised to a, a transition which is very different over the next 10, 20 plus years to a decentralised, much more integrated systems um, and more sustainable transport systems, very much at the, the urban level. If you look at um, cities in terms of the climate challenge, I think 70 to 75% of emissions across the world come from cities. So it's clearly a huge area of, of focus. Um, we're working as Climate Kick with a number of cities across Europe, uh, in particularly with London and Birmingham in the UK. Um, we're really trying to bring together a network of ambitious cities which are working on the climate challenge. And then also with some, some networks of European cities. You may be aware of C40, which London is a prominent member of, Eurocities and ECLE. Um, I think one thing to emphasize in terms of today's discussion, I think you know, we are an innovation agency and the, uh, the, the, the policy dimension around innovation I think in Europe and also in the UK has changed quite dramatically over the last five to ten years. It's been it's been dominated to date, I think, by if you like traditional approaches to science and technology. So very much technology focused, supply driven. Um, I think what we're finding now in terms of bringing together innovation and, and addressing climate change, it's a very different uh, approach to innovation. It's much more um, systemic in focus, so going beyond just individual technologies, the challenge is much more complex than that. You're looking at you know, system change in key areas where, where cities have got big responsibilities, you know, buildings, mobility, energy, waste. You know, these are key areas where cities and city actors have got um, quite a, a large degree of power. Um, you're looking at also connecting you know, producers and consumers, so you know, lots of the particularly the energy discussion in the UK is still about wind farms and nuclear power stations and this kind of stuff. I think some of that is starting to change. We're looking at you know, how do you really engage with, with society, with consumers and citizens, which I think if we are going to manage this, this transition uh, 
uh, to a much more sustainability in cities over the next 10, 20 years has got to happen. So clearly, working you know, with cities across Europe, you've got to bring together a number of these system actors from city governments, you know, the key operators, end users, investors, solution providers. So we're really trying to see how we bring those um, actors together at city level. We're working in three particular areas, I and mean, this is what Climate Kick is doing. I think it's it, you know, lots of cities themselves are working on um, activities in these areas. Um, so very much on the, at the building level. Um, we're also looking then at the, the district level as a sort of a manageable uh, dis district area um, function within cities, um, as well as then working um, at the city level uh, as well. Let me just explain um, very quickly some of the projects we've got underway in some of our cities. I mean, this, this is more of a technology focus, looking at how we accelerate the uptake of, of technologies around buildings. We've got a number of uh, living labs uh, across different parts of Europe, um, really looking at the new, the new technologies and the uptake of new technologies around primarily new buildings. Um, I think more, more interesting then is looking at the, what I mentioned earlier about the, the system innovation. So how are we now starting to work with districts uh, in different European cities and looking how you integrate um, uh, the, the different water, waste, transport, those kind of systems at district level. So we've got a, a quite a large smart sustainable districts project underway. Um, the Olympic Park in London is one of the, the test sites for that. We're working with the Utrecht in the Netherlands around their transport hub. So really exploring how you, how you make significant um, uh, if efficiency gains sort of factor four type level um, in, in districts across, across Europe. And that obviously means integrating, yes, you know, some of the technologies which are coming out, but also integrating um, and working with citizens and community groups on their, you know, the, the more social aspects of, of the changes needed. Um, and then again, at a city level, you know, there's quite a bit of, uh, you know, there's more and more data now available at city level around the production of, of, of emissions within cities, but also, you know, connected to the wider regions. Uh, lots of, you know, greenhouse gas inventories. We're trying to work with cities now to connect that kind of data what's coming up in, in those inventories and, and trying to follow that through to effective strategy creation, you know, pathways for, for change in areas like mobility, um, uh, waste, those kind of, of systems. Um, so we're trying to work through with some of the city authorities on that kind of, of planning. Um, okay, and just maybe to finish, um, just some thoughts on then you know, the wider sort of smart city challenge. I think specifically on the climate issue, which is the area where we're working on, we've seen, um, you know, significant developments over the last five to ten years around monitoring, reporting, the verification systems at city level around emissions in particular. There's initiatives like the Compact of Cities, which are starting to, to get cities to work together on standardising some of these processes. That's all been very positive. Um, we've got the COP21, the UN discussions in Paris in December, which is going to look again at you know, what are the city contributions of that. And one of the key things they're still looking at cities to prove is, is, is the verification element. You know, it's much more developed at national level than at city level at the moment. Um, and as a consequence, we're seeing you know, a real emerging sector of organisations, startups, which we also you know, we run a startup programme, um, around you know, pro providing some of the technological and some of the methodological solutions in this area, as well as looking at future standards. But I think the reality at the moment is we're still struggling to, to try and connect some of the, the ambitious you know, sustainability and, and climate targets which cities have with, you know, if you like, system-wide transformation programmes in cities. So there's lots of, there's lots of good individual practice but I'm not sure how much of it at this stage you could say is genuinely transformative. You know, the real kind of pervasive change we need to see in city systems over the next 10 to 20 years. So I think that's an, ama an emerging area. And I think you know, the key link to, today, to today's discussion is then the kind of information, the database you need for that kind of system change uh, and the data which is system-wide um, and can support that change process. 
Um, and then finally, just you know, moving beyond climate, I think um, we're still facing, I mean, this is more of a European perspective, I suppose, rather than just purely UK. You know, lots of the, the data and stuff at the moment is, is, is restricted to sort of vertical areas around you know, waste or energy or transport. I think we still need to push quite far on the, the horizontal integration. Um, I think there is lots of technology which supports that process. I think some of the other speakers mentioned earlier some of the, the more social or administrative barriers around that kind of uh, horizontal integration. Um, and the last point, which uh, I was asked to sort of leave as, as a thought, you know, how can, we, how can we further develop this collaboration between actors on the, the exchange of some of the fundamental data around customers, infrastructure, and operations, which really is going to support this process of, of, of system change in our cities around sustainability. Uh, it's a very mixed picture in Europe. I think maybe London is, a, is ahead uh, in terms of some of the larger cities in, in Europe, but it's as, at, at an European level, that's a very mixed picture at the moment. And I'll finish there.